Hi and welcome to my next devlog from the Android Heist game series. Basically, I'm trying to make a heist game for androids, which will be mainly stealth and you will have many ways how to complete levels. But I never did a bank robbery, so I guess I don't have any experience with that. Maybe 500 million subs special will be how to make heist in real life. So subscribe because we are just 500 million subs from that goal. But there is an easier way around just to play some popular heist games. So I played Payday 2 for like 2 hours and you know, I'm something of a heist specialist myself. While I was playing, I noticed that they have Javelry Store 2, so maybe I will steal some ideas from them. From the last devlog I made an action button for the player and some states for AI. Basically that means they just don't stay calm when you are shooting at them. So let's get started. Firstly, I made this visualized field of view for my AIs, so it's much easier for me to check if it's everything alright. After this I was working on a mask button, where you have to hold the button for a while to actually equip the mask, and if you don't want to put your mask on, then you just release the button. Yeah, I know it looks similar to something, but whatever. As the next thing I made some simple states, so AI was able to detect me, and on this radial slider on top you can see your detection rate. Basically, if AI has question mark above his head, he is suspecting something. And when he has an exclamation mark, then he is terrified. But instead of using TextMesh Pro, I used icons so it doesn't look like Payday and you can better know what's happening. After some coding, the AI can call the police when you are not around and try to escape so you have to always watch your hostages. Ok, in the heist games you should be able to do some actions, like fly hostages or shout at them, but with every action you need another button on the screen. And if you played game Rust, you know they have this radial building menu. So I thought it would be really nice to make some action button with this radial thing. And this is how it looks. So basically you have to hold the button to show your actions. I will add some text and icon to every action later. But firstly I need some actions. My first action is shouting lay down at hostages and for that I need some animations. Unfortunately I couldn't find any laying animations, so I will use dying and fallen animations together. I know it's looking weird, but at least it's working. Next, I added some explanations, so it shows you some text when you hover the action button. Ok, so AI needs to be terrified first, and when I choose shouting action, they will lay down. When I go away, AI will call the police, get up and try to escape. Finally, I was working on tie-up animation blending. I know it has some bugs, but I finished that and this is the result. Ok, so I hope you enjoyed this devlog. I know it's not much, but I'm really busy right now. It will be really nice if I can make guard and police AI this month, so then I can make just heist things. By the way, really thanks for hitting over 600 subs and thanks for watching.